Hey everybody, welcome back. Just a quick update on my progress on the Ender 3 that I'm building the IKEA LAC enclosure for and putting the Big Tree Tech SKR 1.3 control board in. Uh, before I begin, let, I just want to say that the O1 OW16B that I reviewed in my last video is back on sale at AliExpress for $26. It's in, and I think it has free shipping as well. It's in U.S. warehouse as well as some of the other Western nation warehouses as well. So numbers are probably limited, so jump on that if you want one. I will put a link to it below. And onward to this. One of the first realizations I came to that no matter what I was going to do, I was not going to get what I wanted with the stock Ender 3 stepper motor and end switch cables. They are just too short, and I am way too clumsy and lazy to try and extend all those wires out, splice them all out. So I got on Amazon and I looked for longer ones and this is what I came up with. And I got the packages down here. These are the stepper motor cables and they are 10 for 10 bucks. And these here are the um, are the limit switch cables. I got three limit switch cables and three limit switches for about seven bucks. They're meant for the TiVo Tarantula. I figured I could get them to work. I don't know if they're right. There's a lot of misinformation. Some people say they work fine. Some people say you got to switch cables. So anyway, I bought them. So first thing I notice is they do not work in my setup. The um, motors made terrible noises and, and the uh, it would not home. The limit switches did not work. Comparing to the original Ender 3 cables, it really wasn't hard to see what's wrong. Let's go first to the, um, the stepper motor. And you have to switch the red and the green and all you got to do and you can do it on either end I chose the motor end because it's six pin rather than four so there was a little bit more room to, to work with it you just pry up the little plastic thing that holds the clip in or push down the metal part either one slide the pin out reverse the red and the green so that they're crossed and then slide them back in make sure they're locked and you're done over on the limit switch side you've got to reverse the black and the white. And it's the same thing. They're in line when you get the pins. Oops, it's upside down. Let me flip it over. And what you do is you, um, you push down the little metal tab. You slide the black and the white out. You reverse them so that they're crossed. And then you push them back in. Make sure they're locked. And both ends are identical, so you can do it on either end. It doesn't matter. And um, that gets the motors and the limit switch and homing working correctly again. And other than that, there's nothing wrong with those cables. They work fine. Might be possible to find ones that, that's already set up like that on. I These were inexpensive, and they were both about one meter long, so they're both long enough. Now, on for the rest of the cables, as you see, I've got the Z-axis at the top. This, is, this here is the hot end cable. I'm going to mount the control box right under here. So with the Z at the top, I'm pulling it kind of snug but not too tight. I have that much left to go into the board, through the box into the board, and that's going to be enough. On the um, on the bed, I am, I think I'm, am I fully forward? Let me push it fully forward. It's fully forward there, and you'll see that again I have more than enough. I have more than enough length to reach under there. Push it fully back, and we'll see the back end of it. And you see the back end of it there. That's kind of snug right there. And you see I have what I think should be a sufficient length to get connected to the board where I'm, where the control box and board where I'm going to mount it. This yellow bracket that I was using to hold that, um, the wires in place along with its mate there, I got these off Thingiverse. They're going to mount the, the power supply underneath <coughs> the base right next to the control box and those cables will easily be more than long enough there. So I, um, I modified one end to get my blower fan on. The way they, um, I don't see it here, but I'll show it to you in the next video. The way they have the, the fans mounted in the original, in, in the Big Tree Tech shows you, they use the second hot end, the second hot end power for one of the fans and I didn't like that because one of the things I want to play with is going to be dual extrusion so there is another 24 pin fan connector over here so 
and these are not 24 pins, 24 volts, sorry. There's another fan connector over here along with the one here. And see if we can see where that is. That is right at the end. Oops, I'm sorry, I'm off it. That is right here. So we have one right there, and we have one right there. So we really have all the fan pins we needed. We just have to wire them up to work the way we want and get the settings in, um, in Marlin to work. This one's hot all the time. The, the power is on, so I think I'm going to use that one for the hot end fan. I don't really care that if the hot end fan runs the whole time the power is on. This one here we're gonna, I'm going to use for the cooling fan, the part cooling fan. And I'm also going to wire the control board fan into this one as well so that it runs all the time. It's powered on. I don't mind that. So that's how that's going to go. My fan, my fan, little blower fan mounts in the lid. The lid is going to go on like that. And that channel that the blower fan goes into wraps around the, um, the heat sinks there so that um, it blows through that channel all the way across the heat sinks and out the end. So, I think that's that. I am going to finish getting getting this thing put back together. I've got some some of this wire loom cover 3 8 inch that I got down at the local home improvement store when I when I repaired the bed wiring on this Ender 3. I'm going to use that as well. I'm going to get this mess cleaned up and get this thing put together and then I'm going to test it and I'll be back. So don't forget the O1 OW16B over at AliExpress for 26 bucks. Heck of a buy for a, a good little multimeter if you don't have one. So that's it for now. Hope you guys are going to have a great weekend, and I will catch you as soon as this thing is working again. Bye for now.